Hello, it's Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars, and I hope you can hear me over the wind here on beautiful Orkney. I have a Tesla Model S. Tesla have kindly lent me this vehicle. It's going back tomorrow night. Um, I just thought I'd do a little video for my own memory of this truly memorable car. So uh, let me show you some of the basic features. The key's in here. It is, uh, well there's loads of information about the Model S, but it is absolutely fantastic. All the cables you'll ever need. This is the P85D, no it's not the P85D, it's the P85, it's not the D. Uh, where are we? There we go. It's just a rear wheel drive, but believe you me, it is still extremely rapid. Beautifully equipped, it really is a stunning car. So, uh, yeah, um, I could go on and on and on. Let me show you under the bonnet. Open the, the frunk. Love to show small children this. Or oh, show us your engine, mister. Oh, there you go. There's the and then they'll say, oh, yeah, it's one of these rear engine cars. And obviously, I open the boot. And uh, they are then greeted with the space in the boot. So, the wind so as you get in the car with the key so the car will detect that you're near it and the handles will open up and you jump in the car leave the key in the car and as you can see the car says it is off so to turn it on I'm going to push the brake pedal that's it the car is on it's telling me to put my seatbelt on, but I'm just going to show you some of the features. The screen is just brilliant. You can switch that around. Sat nav as well. Up here on Orkney, the 3G connectivity is not particularly quick. If anyone's ever wondered where we are in Orkney, that's where I am. Right at the top. In fact, let me just open it up. And now the charges are visited, which are rapid charges, which charge this at 32 amps, which is rather nice. But there we are. That's where I am on Orkney. So if you ever wanted to know where I am, just above John Groats. So yeah, great touch screen for the sat nav, of course. You've got energy consumption. You've got a full web browser as well. You touch this here and make the screen bigger. Again, the connectivity down south was really fast. Up here, it's okay. It, it gets there, just not as quick as it is down on the mainland. There you go, BBC News web page. Media Centre. I like to leave the energy monitor on, which tells me how I've been driving. And a really nice rear view camera, which I like to have at the bottom. And the energy monitor at the top. So yeah, really really nice to drive, um, lots of great features on the Model S. This is the gear selector, of course there's no handbrake, it's all automatic. So you pull the stalk down, D for drive, and I'm on private band. If you turn, push the stick up for R for reverse. The rear camera you get those lines to show you where you'll be pull the stick down for drive there we go it really is a monumentally outstanding vehicle i've never driven anything like it range i've got 98 miles left and i'm about what well under half i've perhaps got 30 40 percent left so yeah 250 270 mile range on this p85 85 meaning the 85 kilowatt hour battery pack um it really is an amazing car and it certainly moves as well let me just show you some of the controls so i have a screen where we can control everything on the car the steering mode can be adjusted traction control off and on i can have the creep off and on so the minute there's no creep 
which basically means like an automatic if you take your foot off the brake normally an auto will pull you forward but this will just stay stationary until you hit the accelerator regen braking is on standard which is nice because it really pulls up and when you take your foot off the accelerator it actually puts the rear brake lights on which is very nice as well a nice little feature also got adjustable air suspension let me show you this this is so cool the car raises the rear and then the front to go over speed bumps or rough ground etc and then when you've gone over it you get to the other side you can put it back to standard and the car will go back down again and what this car does it remembers where I've actually done that and in fact down south in Leicestershire I adjusted it and the next day I drove down the same road and the car remembered absolutely brilliant sunroof is nice you can open and close the sunroof and these features can also be activated from the steering wheel as well so yeah absolutely brilliant so let's go for a drive squeeze accelerator we have some dials in the middle when it turns to green on the right hand side of the central dial um, it means we're regening which basically means you can drive this virtually just on the accelerator in the middle we have our speed and along with a blue marker on the left hand side of the dial which also gives you the indication of your speed now there's also a little marker within the blue section that illuminates and that little marker will tell you what speed zone you're in which is very clever but even more clever than that which i thought was absolutely amazing driving up from uh, down south the variable speed limits on the gantries on the motorway would vary because of an accident or roadworks so 20 40 70 and the car would know the second it went underneath the overhead gantry that the, the speed limit for that moment in time was 20 and would tell me on the dash absolutely brilliant automatic headlight dipping at night is fantastic it's got a lane departure system so it's reading the lines in the road you probably just might be able to hear that a little bit of a rumbling through the steering wheel telling me I've wandered across the white line it measures the lines both sides so if there's a solid line on the left hand side as well of course if you read that but obviously if you want to overtake on the motorway um, it knows you've indicated with the indicator and obviously will cancel out that vibration you get through the steering wheel. Um, you can adjust the steering wheel electronically for all directions as well as the seat of course and you can memorise that within the car itself. So you can have numerous perfect driving positions memorised and if you jump in the car say after your wife's been driving it press a button and everything will adjust back to exactly how you want it brilliant um, I'm lost for words I've done over a thousand miles in this probably getting on for 1200 miles I should be really reluctant to take it back because it is a truly amazing electric vehicle I'm totally smitten with it I'd love to keep it I'd love to buy one um, but yeah it is absolutely monumental so what I'm going to do is drive down to the next junction and uh, just show you its performance is truly outstanding um, it really is so I'm coming to this junction and I'm going to turn right down towards Tingwall I'm doing 45 I'm coming off the throttle I'm not touching the brake pedal 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 20 so it reduces speed it puts the brake lights on without me touching the brake because I'm in regen which is again absolutely brilliant so let's just head back so it's I'm doing 20 miles an hour from to accelerate 30 40 50 60 it's just <laughs> monumentally quick stunningly quick shockingly quick amazingly quick any of those words will suffice it is just breathtaking um, I 
was going to do, I can do a standing start just to show you its acceleration is just absolutely awesome. We're on a nice dry road, it's got traction control. Even in the dry, I would not turn the traction control off on this car because the power is just phenomenal. Two and a half ton car that uh, really, really gets a move on. So let me just go past this tractor nice straight bit of road. I'm not breaking the law because it is 60 mile an hour speed limit on this particular stretch. So I'm going to come to a stop. 10. Let's just encourage it with a brake. So I'm at 0 miles an hour. So oh, just a little bit of traction and I'm at 60. So yeah, <laughs> it is great really is absolutely brilliant. There's no lag, uh, there's no waiting for the revs to build, it just does what it says on the tip, like flicking a switch. So, this car is going back to Tesla. I've done lots of demos in this car. I also work for Fleet Drive, so lots of people are interested in leasing one of these. And uh, I look forward to the day when I can buy one of these used. So thank you Tesla. That concludes this uh, short memorable test drive and uh, thanks for watching.